Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you exactly how to split a page in half using Canva. If you've ever wanted to create perfectly even designs, whether you're making flyers, social media graphics, or just aiming for that clean, professional look, you're in the right place. By the end of this video, you'll know not only how to split your page precisely in half, but also how to set your Canva workspace for easy, repeatable results every time. All right, let's jump right in. First things first, go ahead and open up Canva. If you're new to Canva, don't worry, this process is simple and works whether you're using the free or paid version. Once you're in, look for the Create a Design button, usually found at the top right of the screen. Give that a click. Next, you'll want to set the exact canvas size for your project. In the options that pop up, select Custom Size. Now, here's a helpful tip. For splitting a page in half, you'll get even results with a width of 100 and a height of 50. These units can be in pixels, inches, or millimeters. It really depends on your project. But the important part is that the width is exactly twice the height, making a perfect rectangle that's easy to divide evenly. Enter those numbers and click Create New Design. Give Canva a moment, sometimes it takes a few seconds for your blank canvas to load up. Now this is where a lot of people miss a key foundational step. At the top left corner, you'll see a file menu. Click on that and look for the view settings or just settings option. It might appear differently depending on updates, but you want the one related to guides and grids. Once you're in the settings, choose add new guide. This is like setting up a subtle grid for your workspace, helping to align elements perfectly. In the guide settings, select custom. Here, where the magic happens, set the number of columns to two and the number of rows to zero. What this does is split your page vertically into two equal halves, like cutting a cake directly down the middle. You'll see faint guide marks appear. These won't print out or export. They're just there to help you design with precision. It's a small detail, but it saves a ton of guesswork and gives your design a really polished feel. And honestly, that's it. Your canvas is now split right down the center. But let's say you want a visible dividing line to make sure that split is extra clear, maybe for aesthetic reasons or just to keep both halves distinct. Here's an extra pro tip, head over to the Elements tab, which you'll find on the left-hand side. Look for the shape that looks like a little square inside a larger square. Search for Line and just drag it onto your canvas. You can stretch or position it exactly along the guide to mark the halfway point, even adjusting color and thickness to match your project style. This can be super helpful for layouts where you want a definite separation. Think before and after images, two-sided invitations, or comparison charts. If any part of this feels tricky, just pause and take your time. Sometimes finding the exact menu or setting in Canva takes a few clicks, especially if you're working on a new computer or a different browser, so don't worry if it isn't in the first place you look. And there you have it. You now know how to split any page in half on Canva, complete with guides and even a visible dividing line if you want. I hope this helped make your design process a little easier and more precise. If you found this tutorial useful, please give the video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you have any questions or run into any snags. I love hearing from you and I'm always here to help. And don't forget to subscribe for more Canva tips and graphic design tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.